All right, let's talk about hickory nuts it's here. So this first one, this is your typical shagbark hickory that should be Caria oveda. Then here we have a yellow bud hickory, also known as the bitternut hickory or Caria cordiformis. And the typical shagbark is the one that people are going to know that you will crack and eat the nuts. And they're really, really good. Kind of tastes a little bit like buttery pecans. The yellow bud, just like its name, bitternut, is very bitter. But it's got a really thin shell, so it's easy to crack. And Native Americans used to gather these, smash them up, boil them, and then extract the oil that comes to the top. These are all really high in oil. Uh, like if you've ever seen pecan oil for sale in a store. Uh, nuts can also be oil crops. Lots of different nuts. But the bitter nut can be pressed for oil, or the oil can be extracted, because the tannins are not fat soluble. In the middle is a cross, a natural hybrid between the two of them. And it has characteristics of both types of nuts. So I'll show you here. It's kind of a close-up. It's really cool. So the cross in the middle has the delicious buttery flavor of the shag bark. It's the one right here. But it also has a thinner shell like the yellow bud. And you can see that thin shell. Look around the edge. Uh, it's still a little bit thick on the top, but around the edge here you can see it's noticeably, noticeably thinner. And unlike the yellow bud, the hybrid isn't bitter at all. So why is that useful at all? Like, sure, sure, Alan, that's a variation, whatever, it's a hybrid. So for making hickory nut milk, which is one of the best things you can do with hickory nuts, uh, Native Americans would smash the nuts up with the shells and all, and then put them in water, like two to one by volume, and bring it to a simmer. The shells are lower the shells weigh more than the nut meats, and the shells sink, and then you scoop off the kind of nut cream, which is basically the original nut milk, and you season it with a little bit of maple syrup and some cinnamon. I learned how to do this from my friend Sam Thayer, and it is really, really delicious. But having a nut, having a hickory nut that has a thin shell and a really good flavor basically means that it's superior at least in my view, to your typical shagbark hickory uh, for the purposes of making nut milk, but these ones also taste way better. That might be because they're super fresh and the other ones uh, are a little bit older. Uh, I don't exactly know, but it's a really cool variation and I wanted to share